Well, hello everybody. Here we are at Dell World 2012, and we've got another little Spudnik interview here for you. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, uh, my name is Matt Ray. I'm a senior technical evangelist with OpsCode. So I, I uh, you and I got together a little while ago, and we started talking about the Cloudland launcher part of Spudnik, which is the uh, the tool that allows you to develop, like as as Martin likes to say, a micro cloud on, <laughs> on your uh, like a simulated cloud on your desktop, and then deploy it to a real cloud when you're ready to. Right. And um, we have one version that we were demoing on the floor that uses Juju and other things like that. It's kind of the, the version that we've been working on. And, and uh, you know, we were discussing, and I thought it would be interesting to see what also to, to basically POC out or prototype out an approach using Chef right. purely. And so why don't you give us a little overview of what that, the, um, the, the, the uh, I don't know, let's call it Cloud Launcher Alpha Bravo is. Sure, the second one. sure. So the, the, the Sputnik Cloud Launcher is a wrapper, uh, actually, not a wrapper, but it actually extends an existing chef tool uh, called Spice Weasel. That it takes a, a simple uh, YAML or JSON file that describes the infrastructure you want to deploy, uh, the dependencies that it has, and the order to deploy them in. And it can recreate that infrastructure uh, to any sort of infrastructure that is supported by, by Chef, any sort of cloud or platform supported by Chef. So that means uh, we can deploy to you know your your uh, would you say your local cloud on L Linux containers uh, or KVM. Uh, we can deploy to OpenStack. Uh, we can deploy to vSphere or vCloud if if you're you know if you're using Dell's uh, cloud. Uh, or, you know, even public clouds uh, like Rackspace or Microsoft's Azure platform. Um, those are all supported by uh, Chef's Knife plugin, and they are all supported by the Sputnik uh, Cloud Launcher. And so what, what's the process look like? like? Let's say I've got my, my Sputnik thing open, and I want to start developing my application with the Cloud Launcher in mind. Like, what do I do? Like, walk us through the life cycle. Well, the, the life cycle is uh, similar to... Uh, you know, any other uh, chef application, but uh, it's different in the fact that if if someone has a, a demo or a project and they have a manifest file, a you know, this, this YAML file or this JSON file, you can take that and uh, just run it, and it will download the dependencies that it needs and install them in the, you know, in the cloud platform of your choice. So I grab this YAML file uh, out of a, a repo and I say, you know, uh, Sputnik, um, you know, Sputnik launch, uh, LXC, you know, Linux containers, and it will go and launch that in, uh, infrastructure onto my cloud. Uh, and then if I decide, you know, hey, I'm happy with the way it works here, um, I can deploy it to another cloud. Um, you know, and the workflow is, you know, you work on the code that you're deploying, and then you just say Sputnik launch, and it will put it up to the right cloud for you. And, and so, to tell us more, like, what's in that YAML file? <laughs> the YAML file. Yeah. Um, so it has uh, the the five uh, kind of primitives that that Chef uh, is using. Uh, the first is cookbooks. You know, the actual uh, a cookbook is is a wrapper, is a a package that deploys a certain uh, application or a service. You know, so think things like um, uh, you know NTP or uh, an SSH package or a Java cookbook or right. you know uh, some dependency like that. So I have these dependencies, you know, those cookbooks. They get uploaded uh, next to the environments. If I'm running in a development environment versus a production environment, I can have a you know I can split my infrastructure between those uh, deployments as well. Uh, roles. So I say you know this is a, this machine is a web server, uh, and a web server consists of you know these cookbooks. Uh, and so that's how we kind of aggregate functionality and roles. Uh, and then data bags, which is a, a shared data format that you know you may or may not be using, uh, and then just the actual nodes uh, that you're going to deploy. So I say, you know, hey, uh, I want to deploy to these actual specific nodes or to this particular cloud. So I can say, you know, uh, I want to deploy um, this to five machines on uh, OpenStack, and you know, I pass it the the list, the run list, which is a list of the roles or cookbooks that I'm going to use. And a uh, the options. So if I'm using a particular flavor or image size, and my uh, my OpenStack um, identity file, my my, my uh, user, uh, my private key, um, and I just put those on there on the YAML file, and then you know whenever I need to upload new versions of it, you know uh, Sputnik launch. And then you like execute the, the cloud launcher tool, and it'll basically just like set up your little mini cloud. Yeah, yeah. It will uh, if it's using uh, Linux containers. It will go and you know build those containers and deploy the code to them. Uh, and then you know when it's done, uh, I know that I can go and like 
you know, perhaps I'm, I'm building a LAMP stack or something like that, I can go to my web page uh, for the cloud I just launched, and there it is. Uh, and then if I'm happy with that code, I just change my endpoint from, you know, LXC to OpenStack. Right, and, and, and that, that's, that's part of what was interesting about, uh, is it Knife or Spice Weasel, or which part is the one that works with all the different, like... Uh, it's Knife. Knife okay. is, is, is the chef uh, command line tool. It, it's a Swiss Army knife of APIs. It, uh, depending on which plugins you load, it can talk to lots of different APIs. And my last count, there were 35 or so uh, cloud platforms supported, and that's most all of them, right, <laughs> you know, right. that I'm aware of. And, and so, so what, what, are you, what are you thinking the... I mean, like, how would you describe the state that, that the, the tool you work on is? So uh, the, the Cloud Launcher is a, a wrapper. Uh, you know, it's extending Spice Weasel, which is a year and a half old uh, and has, you know, approaching 10,000 downloads. So it's, it's a fairly uh, fairly stable project that uh, has uh, a bit of adoption in the Chef community. Um, and so, uh, ex you know, extending, extending that uh, to actually have a, 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 uh, an abstraction for different clusters of, of infrastructure was pretty simple. Uh, and uh, adding the ability to actually execute, you know, the infrastructure for you uh, without you know showing you the knife commands, um, that's been added too. So uh, that's part of you know Spice Weasel 2.0, uh, which will which will be uh, uh, Sputnik Cloud Launcher 1.0. And so, what do you think the next things are that would be logical to work on? Uh, I think building up a good catalog of of uh, application stacks. Uh, you know, there are already you know there are I think 700 plus cookbooks on the the Ops Code uh, the Chef community site. Um, and so if we wanted to, you know, have, uh, you know, here is a reference LAMP stack, here is a Tomcat application, you know, I actually use it to deploy OpenStack myself. So when I deploy my own OpenStack, I'm using Spice Weasel to build that infrastructure. So there are lots of, you know, example applications that we could just say, hey, here is, you know, uh, here's your Hadoop stack. And, you know, here's the, the manifest file for building it yourself. And, you know, you can deploy it to... Uh, to Alex C, to OpenStack, to, to vCloud, it doesn't matter. Right, right. Well, great. Well, 